OET speaking, sample test one, role play, ear mites, veterinary science. Following role play transcript does not contain any language errors. Practice and succeed. Vet roll card, pause the video and read. Owner roll card, pause the video and read. Hello again, John. I have just examined Rover and I would like to talk to you about my diagnosis. Is that okay? Yes, of course. That would be great. Thanks. Can you tell me how Rover has been behaving recently? Well, I think he has some issues with his ear and he is scratching himself a lot lately and there's a really bad smell from his ears. It's quite nasty. I see. You think he has a problem in his ears and they smell bad. Yes, that's right. Let me ask you a few questions to find out some relevant details about Rover and help me to formulate a diagnosis. Okay, sure. When did the problem start? The issue started about two weeks ago. I see, two weeks ago. Did you attempt to clean his ears? I cleaned his ears with some wet cotton, but I stopped when I noticed some small dark pieces falling out of his ear. You did the right thing, John. Can I ask you some more questions? Did you put anything inside his ear to clean it? No, just the cotton ball around the outside of his ear, nothing else. Okay, John, I understand. Let me tell you about my diagnosis. Rover has microscopic skin parasites feeding on wax in his ears, and these cause itching. Are you following me? Oh dear, is it serious? No. Try not to worry about it. You are in safe hands and we will look after him. You're not alone. Okay, thanks. How do you feel about the situation? Well, I'm worried about Rover to be honest. He's the family pet and everyone loves him. There's nothing to worry about. Everything will be fine. My suggestion is that you should clean his ears at home twice weekly to remove the wax. Is that okay with you? Oh, well, to be honest, I think that will be very difficult because Rover never stops moving around and he's always changing places. I know it's challenging, John, but I think you have to try to do that for him because he needs to be treated. And if he doesn't get treated, there is a possibility of getting an infection or a ruptured ear. Okay, I see. I will do my best to do that so. That's great, John. Just do your best and you can call into the clinic if you need any help. Please don't hesitate to contact the clinic if you need any help or have any concerns. Thank you. I also recommend that you use eardrops for him twice daily and for two weeks in both ears. Is that clear? Okay, I will try to do my best with the eardrops. By the way, I would like to tell you that the cost of specific treatment can be expensive if you want to treat external parasites using other options. Do you understand what I mean? I don't have much money at the moment. Will the eardrops work? Honestly, eardrops are highly effective and safe, and it is a pretty simple and basic procedure. Okay, so what do I need to do? Please listen to me carefully and I will explain. You should pull Rover's ear flap up and back. Then you should apply drops into the ear canal. Then you should massage the ear in order to diffuse the drops. It is also a good idea to praise Rover by saying words like good boy or good dog Rover. Are you following me? All right, I'm following you. Thank you for the advice. Meanwhile, I want to stress that regular treatment is needed to keep the ear mites under control. Can I ask you one more question? Yes, of course. Looking at my notes, I see Rover is not neutered. Is there any specific reason for that? Well, I thought that getting him neutered would change his personality and I didn't want to do that. I understand how you feel, but neutering has a lot of benefits. It can help reduce aggression eradicate testicular cancer, and prevent unwanted puppies. 
as well as preventing fluctuating hormones in the blood. You have any questions? I'll discuss having him neutered with my wife and get back to you. I'm glad you gave me information about the ear mites. Do you think Rover will be okay? I'm certain that he will be better with appropriate care and treatment, but we need to carefully monitor him while he recovers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Thank you for your help and all your advice today. No problem, John. Remember, we are only a phone call away if you have any questions or need any more advice. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye, John. Have a great day. Your turn to practice. Pause the video.